Well, again, can I thank all four speakers and just to reiterate the fact that um, diversity, <laughs> difference, um, and you've had a very interesting, I think, an overview of through the period and also very contemporary activity that's going on. So pretty wide experience put in front of you. Now is your opportunity to um, intervene, to participate and to ask some questions. So if you'd like to put your hand up, if you have questions, I'll. Um, I could try to start. <laughs> yeah. And, and I, I was a little bit inspired by Jersey when I said this. I, I really liked the project when he made a bed, a uh, table, and a chair. And I really think that uh, you work in this profession, and, and um, I used to play music before, and it took three years after stopping playing. Uh, music until I could really listen to music again without like thinking, oh, where is the bridge and where is the chorus? So I think as a designer, you tend to kind of look at everything around you all the time. And I sometimes have this feeling of eye fatigue. I don't know if you could say fatigue. And I, I kind of like uh, the idea of, of the bed, the, the chair and the table as like really the most basic things, and they don't really need to be designed. I mean, it, it's, I, I could very well live with Jerzy's things, or Matali's things, or your things. It's, it's, it's not that important, but I really like the ideas of these three objects. I think it's, it's uh, maybe that's why they are so difficult to design also. Mm. Yeah. Light is important, but I mean, you could put it all outside. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. Anybody else want to enter this discussion? I, I could take the example of a light made by Denis Santacera. It's called uh, Italiano Nocturno. It's a small lamp to project uh, uh, an image in the night for, for the kids to, to uh, like a veilleuse. I don't know how we translate it in English. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And in fact, it's, you can see uh, ships uh, going, and so you can count them. So I really like this object because there is a kind of poesy behind. And uh, yeah, it's, it's very simple. Um, yeah, I take your question as a kind of desert island uh, <laughs> question, so I think, um, I mean, I like the idea that we could do without anything, but probably I would have a knife if <laughs> I had to choose. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sylvain, can, can we ask you? Nothing particular? No. Nope. Okay, any more questions? <laughs> we'll move on. Thank you. Question at the back. Uh, I think I, I'm completely a designer. Uh, I think those projects are, are completely about the question of design. Uh, I, I made the first statement about uh, um, design as, as the creation of life situation, um, which is maybe the beginning. In fact, I think Michele said uh, before about, about looking after your daily program. Um, this is maybe the most important thing we can do. And from building from this, that's... Uh, that, that arrives to, to the amateur, that arrives as a very serious design project and a very serious design proposal. Um, it's not, they're not experiments, they, they existed, they did their thing, um, they will transform. Um, each exhibition transforms on to the next subject. Um, some of them will start, some projects will start to have effect on uh, big industrial places. Uh, some projects might try to close big industrial places, but uh, it's, it's about, it's about a, a process of questioning and opening up. Yeah, I guess it's by hook or crook, really, but um, I mean, it is, it is maybe an important moment that, that, uh, it's not that it's not that designing for industry is not the right thing to do. It's the point that the, that the industry actually is, 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 is there to serve the people and design is, part, is about the people. And there's a time to experiment about what else the industry could be. So we end up with uh, situations of museums and galleries for the moment as being a, a kind of opportunistic position to be. But actually the truth is that, that it must get out of those places because if it doesn't get out of those places then it will end up just being a representation of an idea and not the real idea. So the, as the situationists in 68 said, the, pick up the brick and throw it. Any, any comments on that? I, I really feel it's the opposite. Uh, I really feel that there is new actors coming and they really want to find new logic. And we know that we go, uh, we went too far 
in, uh, and so the idea right now is that people are looking for other directions. So that's why I think designers could help to find this new logic of thinking and uh, living. So yeah. I really feel the, the opposite in, you, in yeah. Europe, in France, right now. Yeah, I, I, I would agree. I, I used to be a graphic designer before I studied for this profession. And I remember when the first uh, uh, programs for, uh, for computer-based graphic design came. And uh, nowadays, I mean, I think anybody can make a magazine as long as you can publish it and get it out. And remember graphic other graphic designers saying, this is the end of graphic design. And, uh, uh, and, and they said that graphic design will really like go down when everybody can do it. And I think it's, it's actually the opposite happened with graphic design. I think there's more good graphic design today than ever before. But the, the, the big difference now is that there is a diversity, which I think is maybe for the first time uh, in, in uh, modern industrial history, there's a diversity of objects, which I think is absolutely amazing, because after all, it's, it's all about the mix, I think. Well, I think design, designing as a project is not just about creating products. I mean, you can, you can uh, design your government, you can design your international government that doesn't exist yet. We can design all of our systems around and start to actually deal with all those projects. Um, I, I had on the diagram just the corner of the Amateur Declaration of Rights. I think the, that the two things I would, I would put into that would be um, the end of all borders and... Um, and, a, and an equal basic human right for everybody financially and health-wise in the world. And I think we would start to have a very different world if we had this kind of thing. So I think, yeah, you talk about poverty, and uh, I mean the whole world is connected, and, and uh, we have these projects to do which are really fundamental. It's more about your, uh, I mean, I don't know about objects, but your connection to what you decide as to be to industry or market or the context around what you design, and that's your decision. So yeah, I think you can, everybody can open it up as they want. The responsibility of anybody is to themselves first and then to be fair to other people. <laughs> Any other comments on that? Because I, th I think that was one of the noticeable themes of this morning, that the, on the one end, as you say, the, the responsibility to those, those core products through, with an industrial link, and then at the other end, the experimentation true to oneself and how the two intersect is, is obviously very key. Okay. Yeah, I, th I think finally, I mean, I mean, industry is just a is just a part of us actually. So it's not a, it's not a separate thing. It's just a bunch of people trying to make something and support people's families, and it's a very important job. It chimes with the comment we heard early, earlier on that Sotsas made about industry serving design, and not the other way around. It's consistent, I think, with that. More questions? One at, right at the back. Good question. <laughs> oh, that's, that, that's a small subject. Uh, um, well, the thing I like, the best pieces of American design to me is, is, is these kind of non-designed uh, things, which, uh, which, I mean, a certain kind of, of very utilitarian, that's the right word, Ut utilitarian objects, which you can find, like building materials. There's a lot of really nice things in, in the United States. If you look at contemporary design, I, I don't really believe in, uh, in the lowest common... Uh, yeah, denominator. Uh, the, yeah, yeah that's, what, what's the word? Denominator. Denominator, <laughs> difficult word, yeah. I don't believe that because it, I think it lowers kind of everything. I mean, if... I. I I believe that you really need specialists uh, doing music. I mean, I, I love music. Music is one of my, my hobbies. And, uh, and there is an there is, uh, uh, idea why you need a good cello player to play Bach sonatas, because a bad cello player would make a disaster out of it. Um, so I really kind of believe in, in specialists. and. Uh, if you look at American design, which I, to me, had a fantastic period, but it's also, as I said in, in my little lecture, I think it's very much about the editors. It, it, it's, it's not enough to have a good designer. You have to have somebody who supports the design. I mean, 
uh, it doesn't matter the four of us who are sitting here. We all need people who could help us to put, put out the things. Uh, uh, you need people working. I, I, I think one of the things, I mean, a little bit like just slightly going back to the last question is that I really like the fact that there's hundreds of people which could pay their mortgage loans, which is important right now, uh, by manufacturing products I designed. I think that's a social uh, thing to do. I like that very much. Uh, I sleep well at night because of that. Uh, so I think that you need, you need somebody who takes care of, of a project, the editor. And I don't really think there are so many really good editors in the United States right now. I, I like uh, the design of Apple. I think it's fantastic uh, what they are doing. Um, but I think the American car industry is horrible. Uh, I really can't think of too much, really. <laughs> I'm sorry to say. <laughs> Any other thoughts? Or other, other people like to add to that? I think design is just an attitude towards life. So I think you see the difference of uh, 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 relationship. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, and the difference is there, in fact. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Question in the middle. What do you get out of design? <laughs> <laughs> Joy, big, big hard-ons. <laughs> Anything else? <laughs> Got your answer. Um, lunch is at twelve thirty, and we only had ten minutes for questions, but we do have a little more time. I don't know if people want to keep going. Yes, they do. Question there. Jersey. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. If, I, I, it's, wow. Uh, I mean, I, I can feel something and other people will feel a different thing. I think as long as we're all feeling something, then that's pretty great. I don't know if it has to be the same thing. Matali, because that seemed to be a theme coming through your presentation also. Yeah, mainly starting a project by having an attention and then the shape and the material is following this attention. So it's, it's the way I'm working, in fact. Okay. I think, uh, I, mean, the, the, I mean, making is, is the way that things are made uh, is as important as, as the way things are used. I mean, the, the, the maker is as much a part of the project as, as, as the user. I mean, we're, we're passing around these objects, and uh, if your factory worker isn't getting some fulfillment out of his job, then he's going to get fulfillment out of, out of buying too many products and, and uh, overpriced mortgages. So uh, it, it connects. I mean, this is really important about the fulfillment of society in general. Okay. I think we take just one last question at the front here. Uh, I, I really think that uh, it, it's, it's funny with, the, with design conferences because you travel somewhere and you sit in a room and you talk to a lot of people about design. You're, asked what is American design today, and, and I'm sorry my head is just blank, but when then all your students there, you can change it. Uh, so the recession thing, I, I think it, it's, after all, I think it's just a job. There are conferences about um, fashion, and there's, there are conferences about money, and there's conferences about loans, and uh, there's a lot of conferences. I think design, Design and designing is a profession. It, it's a wonderful profession, at least in my opinion, because I, you, you kind of, you make things. Or, or in my, I, I do a lot of architecture, really. I, I, I love that process, working with it. But it, it's not, you know, it's, how should I say, it's, it, it's not the most important thing in the world. <laughs> it's, it's something which needs to be done. And, uh, and I really think that, uh, you should approach it with seriousness, your work. Uh, but there are other things, which is really one of the things I really liked in Gers's lectures, which is, which is kind of more important. It's, it's, it's a weird answer, but yeah. Any other comments on the yeah. I think we did build a huge machine in the last decade, and we are not able right now to operate to make them work. So the design could be a kind of uh, uh, system to be able to shortcut and uh, to work in between, to uh, 
uh, work in the inter-value inter of things, and uh, I think what is really what we need right now. It's it's, it's like the last last uh, slide in my presentation. I think it could be really in, in times of bad economy, uh, we need to make things with a, a, a better better quality in every way, emotional, uh, functional. Uh, I think beauty is, is, is a subject of design which is, uh, I mean you sit down with Italian, uh, when you work with Italian companies and it takes about 30 seconds until they start talking about the beauty of an object. And I think uh, in, in, in tough times I think beauty and emotion are in, in incredibly important things which people need. So I, I, I think designers, of course designers are responsible, but, but uh, um, there's a lot of other responsibilities as well. Mm. Yes, I think you have last comment. Uh, yeah, I was just going to say that there's a very book, good book to read from William Morris, who uh, was the, one of the leaders of the arts and crafts movement. Uh, the book is called News from Nowhere. And uh, perhaps if you read this book, uh, it's called a, rom a, a romantic uh, utopian novel. There's a very good answer to this question in the book, so I, I won't say it. I'll let you read it. <laughs> I think that's a good note to end on. Um, can I take another opportunity to thank all four of you? I think you've done fantastic contributions. Thank you.